Welcome back guys. This is question 5.58 and the statement of this question is a certain area of the eastern United States is on average hit by six hurricanes a year. Find the probability that again in a given year that area will be hit by a fewer than four hurricanes b anywhere from six to eight hurricanes. Okay. So this is one of the problem which is related to the Poisson probability distribution. What we can do here is that we can solve it by two methods. One is by using the formulas which I am going to write here. Okay. So the formula here is the probability that x equal to k equal to exponential of minus lambda lambda k divided by the k factorial where lambda is the average value given here already and here lambda is 6 okay uh, so in order to find the fewer than four hurricanes here what we can do we have to find the probability that x is less than 4 which is the probability that x is less than or equal to 3 what we can do here is that we have to find the probability of x equal to 0 plus x equal to 1 up to also probability that x equal to 2 and plus probability of x equal to 3 these are all the values of k writing them here lambda will remain the same you have to add them and then you will find the probability of it okay uh, there is, this is basically one method the other method is the use of the poisson distribution table okay so here we have a table and uh, in that table what we can do here is that we have this value which is k and also the value of lambda which is given these are the two factors here we have and these are the two parameters which are going to be the searchable parameters in the table okay let me go to the table now this is the probability that x is less than or equal to 3 let me go to the table so this is the table you can see it here okay so let me increase it okay you can see here that this is a table and these are all the values for the lambda 0 0.1 up to 1.8 and all the values of it are basically what these are the values of the lambda while these are the values of x or k okay these are the values so we have to do it for what our value of lambda is here 6 okay so we have to search for 6 and in the column of the x we have to search for 3 okay so there we will find that this is the formula and here you will have to do it okay this is basically lambda okay not uh, minus one okay so now let me search for six okay so this is six this is for lambda okay what we have here and uh, for the value of x we have here three okay so here it will be the value because we have to find out the probability that x is less than or equal to 3 and for that we had here 6 and so therefore the answer of it is 0 0.1512 okay and that is what that is basically the solution of part a of my question 0 0.1512 Okay. So that is what that is basically the solution of part A of my question. In part B, we have to find the probability that it is anywhere between 6 to 8 means it is greater or equal to 6 and less than or equal to 8. Okay. So therefore, let me move to the same page in the table. Okay. So this is the similar one and here we have to find out what we have to find that x is greater or equal to 6 and less than or equal to 8. Okay. So here what would happen we have to subtract the value of x is less than or equal to 8 
from it we have to subtract what we have to subtract the value of x which is less than or equal to 5 because 6 should remain in between them okay so it should be here why because if this is the table and here we have here the eighth one and we keep it here the fifth one so all the values will remain here would be from six to eight and therefore we have to keep them here as well okay so now let me find out the value the value of lambda will remain the same which is six and the value of x is less than or equal to eight here it is this one this would be 0 0.8472 0 0.84 7 to minus probability of x is less than or equal to 5 this is 0 0.44 okay so when you will subtract it from it it will be around 0 0.40 which is what which is basically the solution or answer of part b of my question okay so this is what let me move to the main page so the answer of part b is 0 0.40 okay so uh, that's it for today in which we have solved question 5.58 and seen that how to use the poisson distribution table in finding the probabilities whatever we have so that's it for today if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box see you soon